accounting for 40% of member states' total energy uh, consumption and 36% of their greenhouse gas emissions. The building sector is the largest uh, single energy consumer and emitter in the uh, European Union. The building sector is central in the fight against climate change. Today, there are about 260 million building units across the EU. Their floor area counting for about the size of Belgium. 90% of them will still be standing in 2050, and only 3% of them are rated A. We therefore need to engage a systematic renovation campaign, getting the full energy potential out of the European building stock. The task ahead of us is Herculean. Virtually no EU country is even close to where they should be. At our pace, it will take France more than four centuries to meet its 2050 target in private residential housing, about three centuries for Germany. Yet the magnitude of the task should not be discouraging. The deep renovation of buildings has so many advantages that it would be a very smart policy to implement, even if our fate on that planet was not at stake. Economic activity, job creation, fiscal returns, health, improvement of the quality of life, social benefits, all benefits that are even more valuable in times of recovery. It may also seem impossible to mobilize the hundreds of billions of euros, 243 according to the BPIE, that are necessary each year to bring our building stock to the A label and make a deep renovation worth tens of thousands of euros affordable for all households. It is not, actually. First, a very significant part of the investments in deep renovation will be paid for by energy savings and valuation of the building assets alone. Two, governments already spend several billions on so-called energy renovation, in truth maintenance, through public subsidies and loans each year. All that public money is wasted and should be rechanneled exclusively towards deep renovations. Helping people change their boilers or their windows is getting us nowhere. Three, the recovery plans are making more money available in the coming years to kickstart the renovation wave. Governments may deplore that they can't do more because there is no skilled for workforce on the ground to do the job. This is true today. But they can use part of the recovery funds precisely to help enterprises upskill or reskill their workers in the two or three years to come and to help create the ecosystem of technical assistance that is absolutely essential. Furthermore, the European population will likely decrease in the next decades, reducing the need for new buildings, uh, for new buildings uh, construction. Sorry. It is therefore in the interest of the building sector to turn to the energy renovation market. Above all, by making clear their resolve to pursue a long-term and systematic deep renovation policy, governments will shape the market and generate supply. Governments may also be afraid that the European citizens would oppose having their homes renovated and fear of a social outburst like the one we had in France with the yellow jackets. But the French Citizens' Convention on Climate, by making deep renovation of buildings mandatory one of their main recommendations, as well as surveys, clearly show that people understand the need for a dramatic new course of action and would embrace it if they were given the financial and technical means for it. Now is the time.